Hi, this is Easy Speak Training for how to edit the layout of the PR portal pages. I'm Bill Mansour, and as a guest today helping me with this demonstration is Andre Popescu. Hi, Andre. It's nice you visiting from Bucharest today helping with this training. And you're showing us the template club for the new Romanian clubs that are starting up in Romania. So with this demonstration, we're going to show you how to what we showed you in the last video was how to edit the text in the PR portals but now I'm going to show you how to edit the layout of the portal itself and that means how to move the text blocks around, how to replace a text block, how to change the format of each text block and how to potentially translate the pages of the PR portal, the titles of the pages and even how to add or delete pages to the PR portal just something to explain before we get started to recommend <coughs> you uh, the officers don't have the ability to reformat the pages except the president and the IT support it's something that doesn't happen very often we recommend you have a nice design for your club and then leave it that way for years then only the VPPR needs to go in and refresh the pictures from time to time or change the text from time to time to change your location or to put in the new picture of the new office or something like that. Once the layout is the way you like it, we give you by default a nice layout, simple columns, simple blocks of text. That's sufficient for your club and it keeps it easy to maintain from year to year. If you do go in and change the format of the layout of the PR portal, you need to maintain it every year. So just keep it in mind. Don't go too crazy in adding more pages or adding lots of links and being too creative. If you've got someone in your club who has programming experience, a web designer or something, they may want to go in and do it. Just let them know, hey, you're not going to be around forever. Maybe someone else has to come up after you and maintain whatever is created. So just be careful. What we're doing now by creating, by working on this Romanian template club, we are tailoring this design so that in the future when a club starts up in Ro Romania, we can give them this Romanian template club Pay, we can copy this page for their club as a starting point. All right, so looking at the page the way it is now, we've copied an English template club for you, and we're going to be translating that into Romanian or, or doing what we can to make it Romanian, just as you could also make it Spanish, French, German, whatever. All right, <coughs> you'll see next to the word home in the upper left hand corner of the home page there the word edit page layout. Let's go and click on that to enter the layout editing mode. Right. If you move your browser a little bit higher up and maybe maybe uh, can you zoom in a little bit on your screen as well and make your browser a little bit wider so that we get the full so that in our video recording we really see as much as possible and in as much detail as possible. Maybe zoom in a little bit Okay, can you zoom in just a little bit more? Make it a little bit bigger for us. Great. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. Now what you see when you enter when you enter into the format editing mode or the layout editing mode, each block on the page now is circled with a blue line and you see in each block you see a plus symbol and if there is something in that area you'll see a red X to remove the block. The basic design of this page has a top banner block and then it has four columns the left column, center column, right column and then a right panel you could call it a column actually it's a panel on the right and at the bottom if you go move down on the page you'll see there's a bottom banner as well. Okay so we've given you we have to go way down there the bottom banner so in total there are the top, the bottom, the right, and the three columns, six areas that you can play with. That's it. Okay? You've got six areas to move around, but with those six areas you can do an awful lot. This is the these are the building blocks for for every page. Right now there is nothing in the top banner. If you wanted to put something in the top banner, it might be like a photo of your club, something like that, uh, some welcome text that goes across the top not necessary. Would you 
so let's let's look at the left column to start with left column already has a block in there which has a picture and some text and if you go down even farther further down in the left column see if there's another block below it yes there's two other blocks there's a a block there which has to do it says something about social links and the bottom has something about pictures so at the mo and there's a red x to remove that block wherever you see an a red pencil to edit or a yeah where you see the red pencil here or the red x that shows you that there already is a block there that could be deleted or edited in some way. Let's go to the top of this column and we're going to let's add another now what do I, what do I want to do? Okay, let's first add a block and then we can edit the block. So go to the right column where you see the plus button over here on the right column click on the green plus to add a web part. Here is the menu of available web parts that we are giving you to modify your page. Taking a moment to show up I see on your screen. You'll see there that we've given you standard web parts. I was calling them web blocks. I should have called them web parts. Some of the web parts have text in English available. Some of them have nothing in them. For example, the first one, it says, what do you want to add? Free text. F a free text web part will let you put in videos, photos, and any text you want. The Our Blog is a, a web part that allows you to, just like in Facebook, to, to upload little news items about your club. And it has two options with it. One is for setting it so that you could you could just have blog items for your club or you could have blog, blog items for your whole area on the page. Then you see the third thing blocks of standard Toastmasters text like the mission of the club what the page already ha what your page already has some standard Toastmasters text. At the moment we only have it available in English. In the next group of web blocks you see do you want to add blog online users blog online users source there's a whole bunch of stuff and for some reason this is corrupted so it's not a very good demonstration of what is there I don't know why it's showing all this weird extra stuff but normally when someone were to look at this they would only see a few things I have no idea why it's showing so so many options that are not really there but you <laughs> it's giving you an idea of the kinds of things that are available please go down to the next gray division Please scroll down even further until you see the next grouping of web blocks. Go way down. This is really screwed up. So I don't know why it's so messed up. Okay, the next area is club information. You'll see types of standard blocks uh, like your club logo, your club your local map, directions to the club, email form. The next gray section is meeting information. You could add a block a, a web part that has to do with showing when your next meeting is. News items, site information, and words. You could add a block that has the quote of the day or word of the day. These different options that are standard we provided you to help build your website. Let's go way up to the top and let's add the free text web part to your column. Click add in the upper right hand corner there. Mm -hmm. All right. So look on the right column panel and you'll see it has been added. Before we go and actually add the text, let's do some more formatting of that block. Click on the red pencil for the free text web part. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And here are the options that you have for formatting this particular web part. First of all, you could change the title. Instead of free text, you could put something like About Our Club, for example, in Romanian. Yeah. Then you have the option of showing the title or not. Well, you just t I assume you want to show the title because you just edited it. You could have a background. You could have a border around it. Take out the background, maybe. Leave the border. Now, when you're done formatting this particular web block or web part, 
click Save. Great. So you have now edited the web part. Let's leave the layout form to see how it actually looks on the page. The upper left hand corner, click Save Web Layout. Save Page Layout. Now you see on the right hand side the block that you added in the third column. It looks very narrow, there's no text in there. The width of the column is automatically determined depending on the width of your browser page. Click on the edit. Now you can click on the edit text option for that block and it expands. Go ahead and just put in some a block of text. Just paste in some text for me there. Mm -hmm, that's good. Copy text. Mm -hmm. And at the bottom lower left hand corner of that web part, click on save the text. And now we see how it showed up on the third column. One reason why the third column is so narrow is because in the first column you've got a photo that's rather wide. If the photo were narrower, then that column would be narrower. So it's up to you how the, it, the and it's also if you had a wider screen, then the third column would be wider. So you do want to keep in mind maybe the third panel isn't so the third column panel isn't so useful in that sense. Uh, you also got that right panel there that's taking up real estate on your screen. Okay. Now you can play around by adding different blocks and by editing the blocks later. Let's look at another page. Would you go to the on your on the home drop down menu there on the panel? Go to the mm, let's see directions page. The directions page, just like the other pages, is made up of web parts. So here the web parts is a direction part and there's a map part. Click on the edit layout for this page to see, let's look at those parts and see what they are. Again you've got the six different panels, the, th the banner on the top, the banner on the bottom, the right panel, and the, the, the three columns, the six different areas you can play with. And let's see what's there. On the left hand side you see there's a, a web part called how to get the loca default location. And in the middle there's a web part for the map. Okay, click on edit the web part for the map here. Mm -hmm. And you see there were some options there too. For example, showing the title or not, showing the background or not, or a border or not, and also changing the the, you could translate the word map. You could also put find us on the map. You can put whatever you want as a title for this particular block. When you're done, click save. Alright, so various web parts on different pages. You could move it to the left column, right column. Let's say you want to put it on the left. To move a web part in the layout, it says here to it says there how to do it. it. Says to move around by move. You may move around by dragging this web part, the map, with your mouse by clicking on the arrows. To zoom in or out, click on the plus or minus. So, just click and select the top part of. Click where my mouse is here on the top there, yeah, and click on that, and then move the whole block to the left column. Just drop it in the left column, at the top of the left column. And now you've moved a whole block to a different section of the page. Move it to the move it to the right column. By grabbing on the top, you see those little black arrows show up, and then drop it into the right column. There it is. So it's easy when you're in layout mode to move blocks around on the page the way you want it. Uh, move it back to the center column the way it was before. When you're done, that's great. You can just go up to the top and save the edit mode.